Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Old Vinny's here. It's been a while since we've said that. We didn't do a live last Thursday because we have made it con. Y'all, I know the colors are messed up. I'm using a new camera and I have to get it fixed. I have to get it set. So today may be a little weird, but I have to do it one time before I can know for sure. So, um, the colors may be a little weird. I need to try to fix it just a tiny bit real quick because it's gotten a little dark. So, um, talk amongst yourselves. Does that mean I have to turn the light on? No, it's not you. It's good. my here. Good, good, good. It's a little bit weird. We probably we might just have to let it ride today. And I apologize. Just for this um, section of the show because I'm not going to... Um, and it's also doing that. I'm not going to use this for the after show. Ooh, new, my camera's moved. Your camera's not. My camera's not here anymore. Now it's here. Things are going to get better because Vinny bought me some technology. So, well, things are either going to get better or worse. <laughs> yeah, one or the other. Things have to get worse before they can get better, which means today our volume is going to be weird, but I'm hoping it's only weird in that it's hard to hear Vince. That really don't matter. <laughs> it, I mean... <laughs> Not that you can't hear him, but that it's hard to hear him is what I meant by that. Like, I hope that's the only thing. So, if I talk real loud, can y'all hear me okay? <laughs> Lord, Lord, I heard, I heard it. I heard it so plain. My ears are still ringing from it. Y'all, we're catching up on the you calendar. Talk that loud all the time. No, but I probably could. I could bring it down. I'll bring it down. Turn it down now. I'm going to bring it down now. Um, we're going to catch up on the calendar today because I'm so far behind and, but I won't be after this because it's still July and we're in July. So I'm okay. I'll be caught up today. I guess I can move my mouse because y'all need to see my mouse. None of that. So I'm going to be using these pictures that are old. You know what I got thinking? I thought, I don't want to use these old pictures, but I really don't have a choice because I could, did, did I see dad? On, I saw dad the Saturday before Father's Day. <clears throat> None of us were together. Like we didn't take pictures like that. So here we go. We're using an old picture. But I like it. Oh, yeah, this one. Did you not know? I like this picture. Brittany, Vinny does not drink coffee. So he gets his caffeine from Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> and Mamey drinks coffee, but it's mostly a winter drink for me, and I don't drink caffeine. So there you go. This is the picture I'm going to use. I'll bring it up for you guys to see it a little bit. This is Vinny, his dad. So that's Eddie. Get, brace yourself for all the Eddies. This is my dad, Bill, and this is my dad, Eddie. I have two dads. <laughs> so, Eddie and Eddie, and Vince's middle name is Eddie. So, there you go. <laughs> now, you know, lots of Eddie. Super chat from Kim. Thank you, Kim. You you, you, oh, I thought you were going to be loud. I was waiting on you to be like, no. <laughs> Y'all, look at the mess in the back. Psh. That's how much we're caring about it today. It's I mean, a mess. You clean this office, it looks 10 times better than it normally looks. But now, the problem is when you clean, then you see the mess and you want to clean more. No, it does look better than it usually does. But I had to do that for Maticon because, oh my goodness, was it a mess before that. I think that this paper pack, come on, focus for me down here. Focus down here. Come down here. Come down easy. You thought the same thing. Don't even tell me you didn't because I know you did. Un momento, because I don't know why it's not doing that. You're getting some blurry comments. Yeah, it went blurry. Okay, that should do it. Um, I think this paper pad will look so good with this um photo. Let me let it focus. I sure wish we could get that again. We can't. I, I can't. I, I'm trying. Hmm. I'm trying to look at my focus. Well, I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm going to use it because I think it'll look so good. It's so masculine. So. We're still getting blurry comments. Is it blurry? Yeah, uh, it'll catch up. It'll catch up. So I'm going to use. I like this stripe. And I like that stripe. But that one kind of looks like person. <laughs> we won't use that. Oh, I like this stripe. Okay, Vinny. This stripe. Or this stripe. Oh, 
Oh, I like the other one better. What, this one? Yeah. The top one? Yeah. This one. Or maybe the one the, under it. It's the same. <laughs> They're the same. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to that in a few minutes. All right, we're going to cut this down. We're going to cut this down. And this has to be... Okay, let me tell you about this calendar. I forgot to tell you all about this calendar. This calendar is what I call my um, desk calendar turned mini album. And it is a six by six calendar on your desk. I'll show you when you sit it on your desk. It is six by six. This is the front of it that's not decorated yet. That usually happens in like January the following year. Wow, we got another super chat. Oh, thank you guys so much. Oh, I forget. I'm sorry. I'm dying. Um, so this is what the calendar looks like when it's closed. When it's open on your desk, you flip the top flap backwards, and then you um, magnet that in the back, and now it stands up on your desk, and a calendar page looks like this, right? Okay, here's the thing. Um, if you've never seen this before, I've done two, two years of this. It's my favorite craft I've ever done. And the video is available, and I'm sure Shannon will be linking the video for you. But I say all that to say, so I have to measure back to this. So people say to me, why would you cover up the paper you already have down there? And when I first did this, my plan was not to cover up this paper. My, fir my first original thought was, in June, I'll use that paper, and I'll just cover this up, and it's done. But... It's hard to pick paper a year in advance before you even know what's going to happen to go in here. Mm -hmm. You agree? You understand yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so here's my theory. This paper's done its job. It's been here for six months or more, depending on what month it is. And it's done its job. And I'm okay with covering it up. So we're going to cut this down. And if I had would stop talking and pay attention to my measurement, um, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter square. So I'm going to cut this here. And I'm going to cut this one here. And I might save these because the back is craft and it's the perfect color for it. So I may use that for my sentiment. Not sentiment, but y'all know that's what we say, Maybe right? Maybe something you can watch the lens on that camera because it looks like there's a I don't kind of think that's right? what it is. I will try it. But that lens is sunk in. I think it's just me. I think it's just a new camera that I have to learn. So just know you get the gist of what I'm doing. <clears throat> Does that make sense? You kind of You kind of know. Um, plus it's not zoomed in as much as I want. That's the stuff I have to discover when I'm live. So the next time you see me, things will be different. Yep. So see, that looks good on there. And look how that stripe's going to look for y'all watching. And then I need to put them here, but they need some kind of background. I'm kind of thinking maybe a stripe across here to break up the big stripe or maybe another almost solid. Let's look and see. Whoa. Let's look and see. Seems like that may have helped. Okay. This is Brenda's camera. Do you think she put something smeary on it? I, I don't know. This is Brenda's that she used for Made at Con. Here's what's funny. I didn't know I owned three webcams, but I did. Thank goodness, right? You didn't, you didn't have to buy a webcam for Made at Con. How about that? How about them apples? All right, I'm going to cut a piece down that's about two and a quarter. I think that's about the width I want. And I'm going to cut it down to about five and a quarter. I think that's about the whatever that is that I want. Well, Kim Maxwell just gave us a... a uh, Chat and she cut it. <laughs> Correct yourself. Well, she used them awful words. Explain the awful words. Thanks you, for the donation. You do remember there was a time when I got chewed out about that. What? Remember when we were joking? Oh, I like that. Like that looks very well, masculine. Some just have to, you know. We were joking about this. I want to tell you. So I don't say. Yeah. Yeah. I don't say these words. Roll time. And he don't say War Eagle. It's a thing for us because we're opposite fans. So I call these words cuss words. <laughs> Ugly words. <laughs> Ugly words, cuss words. I, in that video, I was saying, stop saying bad words. Stop saying. And this yeah, person who didn't watch the video was really upset that we were talk, joking about bad words. But we weren't joking about bad words. It's just that our opposite teams, we call bad words to each other. So that's all it was. But anyway. But thanks for the, for the tip. Oh, let's do it. Ready? <gasps> I should give you a super bigger one. I should just yell out, um, by the way, Addie's learned War Eagle. Yay. Yeah, it's so disappointing. It's so funny. She's learned it because she, she lives with all Auburn fans. But Vinny had taught her them other words early on, buddy. He had her saying those early on. All right, I'm gluing this down to the top section. 
just to break it up a little bit. Like what chance do I have when she lives in a house full of Auburn fans? Nothing but Auburn fans. I mean, hey. she's being raised poorly. <laughs> hey, how much do you love these dots and stripes together? Yeah. <laughs> He's not a dot. I actually and don't hate that. It kind of looks good together. Really cool. I'm shocked. It's because I didn't mix colors. Because that's where you really go I'm, off the rails. Yeah, I'm bad about patterns. Patterns, especially with colors. Oh, brown. He would not tell me to do that. He'd be like, don't mix brown with that. No. I kind of like it. All right, let me find a color. Oh, green would be pretty. Olive. Oh, come out. Come out. Green might be pretty behind y'all. That's kind of pretty. Let me show Vinny and let him see what he thinks before I move on. It's not horrible. I kind of like it because it's not lime. It's kind of an olive green. Let me keep looking then. I mean, I could do black. I'm looking for a scrap of black. I'm I'm trying. I'm in the I'm in my bin. Here we go. Let me just do black. I mean, that'd be my choice. I'm in the bin. Yeah. Okay. Not so. I had to dig into bin. All right. So we're going to use these guys because they. Are my faves. Don't say, I hope we can get those again. Are you serious? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh my goodness. Stuff's just getting hard to get. It just is. Well, so far we've, we've been able to get plenty of paper. Y'all, if you've not if you've not seen the Mente Papers, you're going to want to be here for the second show. And you'll notice that I went ahead and named it the Mente Papers. Because I want you guys to be able to find it later. So that's going to be the after show. But I want you to be able to find it when you're looking for it. So that's why you're going to see that. Um, the after show title different. I also did it from my phone. Because we're going to be moving to the big table for that. So I wanted you to be able to. Um, so I just set it up from my phone. Instead um, of here. Sonia asked what pound paper do you use for your solid one. For your cinnamon stripe. Um, I like anything over 65 pounds. So. 65 pounds and over? Mm -hmm. okay. 65 pounds and over is, so are my favorites. Pounds. Yeah. Because Echo Park, well, let me say this to you too. Oh, it opens up so many, so many worlds. Like there's a whole class. I could do an entire class on paper. But here's the situation paper is different based on what it is. Because there's paper, there's 65 pound paper, there's 65 pound cardstock, there's 65 pound cover stock. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So it it changes a little bit, but I like sixty five pound cardstock. Um, do I want to keep this super straight? This feels very Vinny to me, very straight. Angles don't feel like you. No, you're not angular. No, you you very very like things very very. Agree. What's the word you used to say? Clean lines. Clean lines. I like clean lines, but I'm thinking that that needs to be really really straight for you. Do you agree? You can't see it. Yeah, you want me to wait can, for the delay? No, I, you want I me to turn I, it? I'm looking at chat. I don't look at video. It looks good. All right. Should I pop it up? I think so. I'm thinking I should. I'm thinking I should. Ooh, I'm, oh, I get real close then. New camera angle. <laughs> it's like, y'all yeah, were like, real. one eyeball. Oh, my goodness. Okay. A little, little bit of Scotty. We're going to cut Scotty in half because she, because... I hadn't even said this, but I gotta tell you something. I made a slimline card this week. And I cut some pretty long pieces off of Scotty for that slimline card. And I went, no, we're gonna stop that practice quick. Mm. Now, Scott Scotty's over a year old, so he don't owe me nothing. You see what I'm saying? Like I say this about furniture or cars. <laughs> Things I've had for a really long time. I say it don't owe me nothing. Like I've gotten every penny out of it, got my money's worth of it. So Scotty's over a year old and still hanging in there. He don't owe me nothing. Um, let's put this one down like so. Cute. I like that. I have no idea what I'm doing with the sentiment. I just pulled over this um, stamp set called Best Dad, Best Dad, and it has a lot of stuff, and I really, really like it. But I don't know. You want to kind of look at it and see what you want it to say? I'm not really sure how I want it to say nothing. Because, you know, in, in the page I did for me and mom, I didn't put Mother's Day, did I? I just talked about her being mom, right? I'm blessed to call you mom. I didn't put Mother's Day on there. So, that mente paper, even just looking at it like that. Whew. So, dad, maybe? More than father? What do you think? Um...
oh, I kind of like this idea. Um, let me show you how this fits, and then you decide. The word dad fits really good, like here on this scrap, and then I could put a statement after it, or I could do another piece under it and put a statement. Or, I mean, whatever. You tell me what you like. What if you did, I'm so thankful for you, Dad, and you put it on the other side? Put it on this side? Yeah. That'd be cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and cut this down so I know what I'm working with. Where'd my trimmer go? Back here. That's cool. Linda said they look, we look like we're on a big screen TV. We look like it or we are on one. No, she's talking about the dad. Oh, they do kind of look like, oh yeah, it does kind of look like that. I see what you're saying. The dads. It's kind of funny. I actually call my dad, I call my mom and dad the parents. Because my brother and I, I have I have three brothers. But two of us communicate more than the others. Brothers and sisters, it's just a thing. I love them. I check on them. Everything's cool. But like, we don't have like a phone call. You know what I'm saying? We don't call yeah. each other. But when we do, it's typically, hey, where are the parents? <laughs> That's usually the question. Because my brother lives closer to them than I do. Like significantly closer than I do. So I'd be like, okay, they're not answering. Do you know where the parents are? And he's like, yes, or whatever. So that's pretty much when we communicate. And so we mostly just go, the parents. Have you seen the parents? Have you talked to the parents? The uh, Donna, the new Misty has not come in yet. I'm expecting it any day now. And I can't uh, wait. I'm and I'm a little surprised it's not already here. But And the second it gets here, my plan is to film a review of it and put it up no matter when it is. Because I'm so excited for it. Like, not on my regular schedule. I'm just going to film it and put it up. I thought it was here. We got really excited because we thought it was here yesterday. But truth be told, and it's okay because what came in was good, we ended up getting what I believe to be the very last manger um, die set. I don't believe we'll ever be able to get them again. Nope. Not those anyway. We might be able to find some from somebody else, but I don't think we're ever going to get those again. Ooh, I'm glad I looked at that because I need to move this in a good bit. Now, this may not stamp perfect. You probably won't be able to see it because of the blurriness of this camera, the, the quality thing I've got to work on. But this paper is kind of textury, so sometimes you don't get a perfect image on textury paper. Vince, this is a good choice. This looks good. Well, you know. Really? Look. That's real good. I like that like that. That looks really, really good. Let's bring our page back over. And do I want to see I cut it where it could just run? I love that. All right. Do I want to put anything behind it, around it, beside it, anything else? I really like the simplicity of this page. Parents, um, yes, there is a small blending brush, and yes, it is on the way here. I have a lot of them coming. Should be here. Um, it should it may be here before the Misty's. What's the deal with the new Misty? Can you kind of give us a uh-huh? It has a it has a spot to store your magnet, which I'm super excited about. But my most excited part about it, of the whole thing, is it has an overhang so you can open it easier. Um, let me let me say this to you. Is it a reason for you to reinvest? No. Your other one does the same thing, and with a few modifications, you can, you're fine. But I love that it's got this overhang. I love it's got a spot for our magnet to store in. It has metal hinges versus the plastic, which the hinges have never bothered me. But some people didn't like the sound of the hinge. It's never bothered me. And it also has metric measurements on it now included instead of just the regular ones. They were back to blurry again. I don't know what's causing it. It's poor quality. But I'm telling you, I'm learning. I'll fix it next time. The, uh, the mat appears to be in focus. But what's sitting on top of the mat, the card, is pretty blurry. I'm not on autofocus, so I'll come down like this. And see if that helps. It, it's probably the lines of this cardstock making it go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because it's mm -hmm. so tiny. I'm going to get this done and we'll know to work on my camera for next time. See, I usually use my iPhone and you can't beat the quality of the iPhone, but lately I've been having trouble with it um, syncing up. Like it's just, and I think it's because it wants me to do that update I refuse to do. You know how, I, you know, how we are about updates. I refuse it. So here, I'll put it like this. I really like how this looks, by the way. This looks good. I don't know if I want to add anything else. I feel like I should, but... Somebody did say you could put a, a black border around the sentiment. You could, but I really like how it sits in those stripes. Like, I know I probably should add something, but I really like this page. I don't really see... 
I mean, there's I could add, but I really like it. It looks good to me. Yeah, I really, really like how it's turned out. Let's glue it down. Ooh, I really like it with the craft around it. This is, I would like to see this in a frame. This looks good. I like it. I know, it seems like I should be doing, gosh, we did this one quick. I didn't mean to. I really had no idea where this was going. But I like well, how it's turned out. As long as the after show is going to be, we might want to. I really, really like this. I'm I'm real tempted. Y'all, I'm so tempted to add something, but that's always when I mess up. When I just keep going, that's when I mess up. And then I'm like, Kevin I wish I would have stop. stopped. Kevin yeah. Michael said, leave it alone. Leave it alone. I it agree. Looks great. Looks great. I got to tell y'all something about these guys. Something better. Leave it. Looks great. Y'all probably done this before, but I'm going to try to warn you if you just get these. When you're punching a hole like this and you're putting your hand behind the page, do not put your hand like in this guy because that closes. I have totally closed it on my hand before. I bet that hurts. It was not fun. It doesn't It doesn't punch you here. This is the eyelet setter portion. So it doesn't punch, but I have closed my hand in that and it is not fun. It'll paint you. I tell you what, I'll write on this one since I have time. Well, why are you going to mess it up? Leave it like no, that. I'm going to journal on it. I'm going to do my oh. journaling. And I'm excited because I want to use this new pen. Have we shown these yet? The Jelly Roll Black? I think we showed them in last video, last I time. So. I love this. Um, this picture was taken two years ago, I think. Probably. I'm going to put that. This photo was taken. What year would you say? 2018. Y'all have to talk because I can't talk and write or I'll write what I say. Uh, Suzette, I, I don't uh, know for sure when that distressed glaze will be in from Tim Holtz. A lot of the stuff that we've been trying to order, especially ink and things of that nature, is back ordered and it's taking us forever to get it. So um, hopefully that stuff will come soon. The Tim Holtz Distress Glaze, are you familiar with that one? Okay. She's right. Do we have any small buttons? Can, well, you can't do it. Those pins are jelly roll pins, and they come in black, just like the uh, original white version that we carried. Uh, that's the black that we version carry. of it. Because we carry the white ones, too. Y'all, I'm loving that pen. I've been leaning to it a lot. Mary, if I had some colored ink and distress oxides and stuff like that, I would be more than happy to do some bundles, but... Those are some of the items that we have not been able to get back in stock. I do have a bundle to talk about this afternoon, though. Several, several, feels like months. We do have a bundle for sale this afternoon, though. Well, I ain't been asked about no bundle. There wasn't a reason to. You approve it every time I ask, so I just went with it. Hmm. Look, I got some journaling done. I'm pretty proud of me. Honestly, you approve it every time I ask you. So sure. you didn't. This one's not one I needed to go to you about. Do y'all have those things with your husband? Like, nah. You always approve this one. It's fine. Like. I mean, y'all may not do the way we do things. <laughs> like, I pretty much, this is not about marriage, but, like, I ask Vince about everything. I don't I don't make a purchase. Is that true? I think lately I've given myself a dollar amount that I'll make without asking him. Would you think? I'm more than I used to be. Because used to I wouldn't spend $10 and not tell yeah, you. Yeah, used to you didn't spend nothing without asking me. But now, you know, it's 3 o'clock in the morning shopping for you on Amazon. It's got to change and, things. And other stores but i kind of know what i kind of know what i have to go to you about yeah but you don't ask me but i don't care like i don't care i'm not that person i do not care well like, let me just ask you this question since everybody's <laughs> watching how long has it been since you looked at the checkbook <laughs> <laughs> i don't care i don't care um as long as when you say can I buy this for the store i say yes you don't that's the only time i care is can we get it for the store that's it um I remember one time, this is so not the place to have this conversation. I don't think it matters, but we have a few minutes because we're way ahead of time. Because we're way ahead of the game. Um, 
I used to, I used to work full time, you know, I made, I actually made a paycheck back in the day. I had a literal check that came in yeah. and, um, it was so funny because I would get my check and everybody would be going to the bank, but I wouldn't go to the bank. And, and one day this girl said, you never go to the bank when you get your check. And I said, oh, I don't take my check to the bank. My husband does. And she was like, you give your check to your husband. I said, I walk in the house and actually I usually forget till he asks me about it. And I would go, I give it to my husband and he handles it. And she was like, oh no, we have separate accounts and, and that's fine. Your parents have separate accounts and that's fine. But I've never been that person. It's best that I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> because numbers. You can add. I don't do numbers. So a bank that's checkbook bad. It, it. I don't do numbers. I'm. I. I'm not a person that just doesn't like numbers. I numbers just. What was it you said to me? Do you remember this? You said this yes. Uh, two days ago, I was placing a stamp stamp set order. Remember? Mm -hmm. And he has to give me this number. He has to give me the number to order for stamp sets. And he went like this. <laughs> he said, "What year were you born?" And I'm not saying it today, but I said it. And then he said, okay, add two. I'll say it. I don't care. I was born in 72. So he said, what year were you born? I said, 1972. He said, add two. And I went, eight? <laughs> Where did it come exactly. from? Where did eight even come from? And I was like, 78? And he was like, add two. And I went, Oh, and Shannon wrote it down on a piece of paper, 1974, and handed it to me so I would have the number. <laughs> so bad. So bad, y'all. So bad with numbers. I believe I could be better at numbers because I've I can make myself better at I can I can study things. Mm -hmm. But here's my issue. The men in my life are so brilliant with numbers that I just lean to them. Every one in my, every boy in my life, your dad used to, he would laugh at me so hard. His dad, not so much anymore, and he knows, but he's, he's still, if you give him, the problem with your dad is not that he can't still do it. It's that he puts so much pressure to do it like he, as fast as he used to do it. Yeah. Because it, you're fast. Used to, when dad was young, you could ask him to multiply or add anything. In just like seconds, like, he could tell you what it was. And it, and we would be talking or something at the table or whatever, and numbers would come up, and he was the one to answer it. And like I said, nowadays he doesn't answer the number question as much anymore, but it's because of speed, not because of ability. It, that's the only difference. But this one, look, wow, you are bad with numbers. I'm not kidding. But yeah, Vince, Vince is so good with numbers. Like, um, and I don't know how Jared is about numbers so much. Jared is, Jared is very, very smart, but I don't know if numbers are his thing. Um, Josh is good with numbers, but Thomas, he sees numbers like a calculator in his brain. He's yeah. like you. And I think I think he learned that from Vince because he'll tell me stuff like, he'll try to teach me. <laughs> like, okay, so we were working on a wreath kit, and wreath kits require numbers and numbers and numbers because we have to know this measurement and that measurement and this amount and that amount. And we have to work it down to inches, which is really hard for me. So Vince wasn't here one day. I think you're with your parents. I think it was when one of them wasn't feeling good and you're with your parents. And um, Thomas, I said, Thomas, I'm going to need you to come in there. I'm like, I know you'll be bored out of your mind, but we've got to plan a wreath kit. And I've got to have somebody with numbers to listen to me because I'll spout things out that are wrong, you know. Mm -hmm. So he was sitting there and Vince comes in the store. And when he gets there, he goes, what are y'all doing? And I'm like, don't worry, I have Thomas here. And Thomas said, don't worry, I fix lots of mistakes. <laughs> but as long as I have one of my math, one of my math boys around me, I'm fine. Now, They're very good at it. Let me clarify. When I when she says math, she means add, subtract, multiply. Don't ask me to do algebra. Don't ask me to do calculus. Don't ask me to do any other kind of funky new math. I can add, subtract, divide, and multiply. See, that's not true Quickly. either. Because let me tell you what he does. He he does all all numbers by formula. He he thinks that he can't do those other things. And it might have just been a teacher you had that wasn't great. <laughs> but he does everything by formula. It, it's You don't just take a number and put a number together. You have a formula for getting numbers, for getting things well, to yeah, work. I do, but it's still just adding, subtracting, and multiplying the body. And Thomas is the same way. They just have a, they have a formula in their brain. Yeah, I'm good at arithmetic. Like, talk this out. <laughs> For those of you who don't do numbers, you're going to be blown oh, away. For those of you who do numbers, you're going to be like, yeah, that's how you do it. But, like, if I said to Vince, Vince, what's, um, what's, no, I'm trying to get a number that I always struggle with. What's 47 times 3? Well, what I. Talk it out. 
Well, what I would do is I would do 40 times three, and that would get me the 120. And then I would do seven times three is 21. So 120 plus 21 is 141. That's how I would do it. You see? <laughs> this, girl, this girl would be like, 47 plus. Because <laughs> I can't, I see a number as a number, and Vince sees it in segments. And that's the difference. Isn't that cool? I love the funky new math. <laughs> I can't help it. It's new to me. Like this whole thing about so when I was in school, a word problem, you did what you went from left to right. Now you got to do what's in the parentheses first and then do it. And that's just like, nah. Which I don't understand all that. And they tell me, my kids tell me, mom, it's always been this way. I'm like, well, I'm telling y'all, I, I didn't kid. learn it that way. See, that's algebra, Vinny. I told you it's a formula that you may not think it is, but it is a formula. Because I'll go, I need 47 three times, and you go, well, let's break it down. If A three times is this, and B t three times is this, C is this, and you totally put it into a formula. So her husband does the exact same way. It's man math. Look, that's how my dad has taught me how to do it, and that's how I'll always do it. Not this Until girl. My brain won't do it no more. This girl learned how to do it with a calculator. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I mean, this was a quick one today. I'm sorry. It was. I love the page. I think it's one of my favorite pages I've ever done. It's just simple, and I love it. And I love um, how the colors pull the stone out of that picture. That was one thing I really liked. Did you ever see it? Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. All right, let's do a flip through. We always do a flip through, and I know it's not great on this camera. I apologize. Next week, it'll be better. I'm sure I will have learned so many things by then. So, I said, well, I go, I'd be your light. Settings on your camera, how much light you're letting in or not letting in. Considering that I don't tell it what to do, I don't. <laughs> considering I didn't tell it, so there's the thing. We'll figure it out. I just got to play with it. Help us we have we have a technician that we have um, started working with. He ordered me some audio equipment, and he's going to come put that in. And I'm going to get him to play with cameras and stuff too. So we'll get it fixed out, fixed up. But I am also a I'm nothing if not a learner, so. I now, will Lisa research. Do that one that I used to, I do this way too a lot of times. She said instead of doing 47 times three, she would have done 50 times three minus nine. He'll do that, and that <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do that. He will do that. that. Works too. Okay, so here's our first page. This is January we moved to, when we moved to our new building, and this is in February when we had Amelia Kay's baby shower. I love this picture. The only thing I hate is Taylor wasn't there. That's the only thing about this picture that bothers me. I wish she was there. Um, and then this is when little Emmy was born. Isn't that cute? So precious. And this is Addie's two-year-old birthday party. Love it. And this is Mother. Don't y'all love these this um, highlight reel of your year? This is Mother's Day. And now I have Father's Day. I think these are the coolest things to have. Um, and then you just flip this over and you're at July and you keep your calendar on your desk and it's just great. Now, for the next, today's the 23rd and July has 31 days. So for the next eight days, you're caught up. I'm caught up for eight days. I got to figure out what I'm going to put in July. Well, you, you got till August to decide what you're going to do in July. So, you should have took pictures of the chaos that was virtual Medicon. <laughs> we can talk about that in the after show if y'all want to, but um, Medicon, all in all, I was pretty proud of Medicon. I, we had issues, large yeah. issues. We had large issues. But I'll be honest with you. Oh, I was I was impressed. By, and, and you guys wouldn't even know what was so impressive, but like, you guys know how much I struggle with technology, okay? Somehow, I set up two filming stations, and somehow, I ran seven shows for me and five for Brenda, and somehow, I did all that. I mean, seriously, like, I was really proud of how the technology went for us. Now, I know we had technology issues with other um, teachers, and Brenda, uh, Lisa's technology, I didn't worry about Lisa, because here's who, Lisa's like me in this regard. Lisa's gone practice every which way from Sunday, because that's who she is, you know, so when she showed me her, she shouldn't didn't show me, she showed a picture of her setup, I went, oh yeah, she's got it, because she had well, like two cameras, two, she's an accountant, okay, so she's a perfectionist, it's, it's perfect, everything has to be perfect, mm -hmm. and so she practices and applies different things to make sure it works like she wants it to, and we only had, it's awful, I don't want anybody to have a hiccup, but to think that the post office didn't lose, but like 
They didn't lose any. They redirected some. I want to say two, maybe three students packages, which that won't, we won't let that be a problem next time because we'll even have more time to send out the kits, which I'm going to, I got to remind myself to talk to y'all about that because Mary Make It is coming. Um, let me give myself a note because I don't want to forget. Mary Make It. Um, that's coming in October. And we'll know, we have so many things nailed down for that after um, Make It Go Around, or after the, after Made It Con. And the thing about Made It Con that we learned is that we can do virtual events. Like, um, I really didn't know for sure that was going to work, but it did. And we learned so much. And by the second and a half, halfway through the second day, we even learned how to make our st our classes work in such a way that we stayed on target with each other. Because we discovered, if you were in MadeItCon, you'll remember, we discovered that instead of having you type, I'm caught up, please wait, blah, blah, blah. We discovered if we just go, hey, give me a one if you're caught up, a two if you need me to slow down. We discovered that people could could work and hit one enter, two enter so much faster that we were able to keep the flow going, right? It was pretty good. Um, I was pretty proud. I was, I was proud of all we learned. I was proud of all the work that went into it. You know what else we learned? I, like, you have to look on the bright side of everything, right? So Shannon and Taylor and Sylvia and I and Brenda all learned how to help in packing and shipping. We'd never done that before. No. We literally learned that if the boys get overwhelmed, which they have been very overwhelmed, which we did a lot to work that out yesterday, but we learned that we could literally do that because we had to learn how to pack and ship odd sizes. Yeah. And so before we could only do wreath kits. That was our thing. We could pack a wreath kit and they could mail it. But now, I mean, we learned so much from this event. Now I have something in my eye. We learned so much from this event um, and we're excited about Mary make it. I'm real excited about it. So thank y'all for those that thought it was great. I know if you had technical issues, it really dampered. And I, I'm so sorry about that. And we won't ever let that happen again. We've already come up with a way to fix that so that it won't happen again. And, um, but thank y'all for being so kind and so patient and so willing to let us learn. And the other thing you did for us, which I have to say this, I can't name every person. Okay. But I can't tell you how many people, like, let's say, for example, one student in particular bought two classes to an event. But because it went virtual, her other person didn't want to do it. Her other person was her husband. And he was like, I don't really care about doing it virtual. But he was going to do it in person. Mm -hmm. She said, don't refund me. Use that towards shipping. I cannot tell you how many people were so kind and did stuff like that. I'm not saying, it's over with. I'm not saying that for you to do that or anything. I'm just shocked. I'm not shocked. I am rejuvenated by the kindness yes. of people who understood we had no choice, right? And the only thing I heard that I felt like didn't somebody might not have understood what we had to do was I heard one person say, or I read it because we had this group chat. I read where somebody said they they decided to do this. They didn't have to do it this way. The comment was they decided. Well, Yes and no. <laughs> yes, we decided to do it this way because at one at this point, the school we were going to is still not open. We've had spikes in Alabama so bad that things are shutting down on their own. The state's not making us do it, but people are shutting down or not opening. And the other thing was we couldn't keep changing the date on people because we were hearing from you guys, from our students, hey, I can't change again. They've already charged me a cancellation fee for last time. They'll do it again. I can't get my airfare back if I change it one more time. Like there were so many things, at least this way, people who had airfare they couldn't get a refund on could use it for a different flight. But if we kept messing with them and changing the date, which we couldn't have changed the date because I couldn't even have gotten a date from the school because they're not even open. So yes, we decided it. We decided to do it that way, but it wasn't our choice. It wasn't something we were forced into that decision. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no other way around it. So, but I'm proud of how our team did, and I'm and I'm really really proud. And I'll tell you something else I'm proud about: those teachers that had technology issues, literally took their weekend to film those videos. They did not think they were going to have to film. And if you're not, if you don't know how that works, I mean, Edith filmed, was it four videos in a Saturday? I, I mean, I don't know. I, don't. I think she had four classes, and. There was a delay in getting those those videos out to you guys, but that's because 
you have to film it, you have to edit it, you have to upload it, then you can share it. And so, and especially her, her internet was bad, which they found out a squirrel had eaten her line, is what they found, or bit it or something. And so, and then Christopher, as busy as he is, and as much as he has on his plate, took a whole Sunday to film the two classes he couldn't do live, and then edit them and upload them. And, and I mean, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for what everybody did. And we look, we don't look back on Made It Con as a failure at all. We look back on it as a success in so many ways. So we're pretty, we're really proud of it. And we're not done. We still are doing Made It Con stuff. For example, if you won door prizes or had things coming from my classes, all that's coming. But we did not, because we had a, um, we had all that wood stuff released last week. We couldn't, the boys have to catch up before we can put something else into shipping. So that's coming because me and the girls are going to do that. But we got to give them a little bit of a break because today I'm putting more product in the store, which means it's going to build up again. Whew. <laughs> so it's a lot going on. But I'm really, I was very pleased with MadeItCon. Pleased enough that on Monday morning, we had an hour long meeting and planned uh, Mary Make It. Yep. We planned the dates and we planned what we're going to do. You'll like it. I'll tell you more about it in the after show. Um, all right, Shannon, can you post the after show link one more time and then we will get out of here? Let me tell y'all something real quick about the after show link because I'm going to be doing it from my phone. There's not a pre, um, there's not one on the channel right now. So usually you'll have one here and one here. So if you're used to just going out of here and going and clicking that link, you can't. So be sure that you use the link that Shannon's posting because that's the one I'll be doing it from my phone. YouTube has an app and a platform and I'm using the platform right now, but I'm going to use the app in a minute, which means you have a different um, thingy, a different link. So put that in there for me. She did. Where's it at? Well, I can see it on mine. There it is. I'm telling you, this one is so slow. So slow. On tap. All right, guys, we're going to head over. We're going to make a little move. I've got a setup over here behind me, get the air float. I mean, the sky float and everything hooked up. And then we will be back to show you just get a cup of coffee and get ready to sit down because it's not going to be quick. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff, y'all. All right. Thank y'all so much for being here. We'll see you in a few minutes. Bye now.